In my last video, I talked about one of the key things we're trying to develop this year, building the resilience of our students. Now, life doesn't always go to plan and we all have to face things we'd rather not. But one of the key attributes we develop as we go through childhood is how to deal with those things. Professor John Haidt, in a fascinating book called The Anxious Generation, points out that the little knockbacks, the, 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 the small crises that we face as children, kind of inoculate us against the bigger problems that we face in adulthood. Now, we're not talking about traumatic, life-changing events. Obviously, we'd all do whatever we can to ensure that young people aren't exposed to those. But if we want to avoid our children becoming part of that anxious generation that Professor Haidt talks about, we have to be prepared to let them experience challenge and difficulty. That, after all, is what learning is all about. And we've seen plenty of that already um, in this term. We've seen students struggling to master a new language or to um, understand exactly why things work exactly the way that they do. It's not easy. And in fact, there's lots of research that suggests that if learning is easy, it's not actually very effective. So, of course, the other way that you develop resilience and being able to deal with challenges is by putting your challenges and the issues you face in the context of the experiences of other people. My, um, my wife's grandfather, who I never met, using language which is possibly a bit old fashioned nowadays, used to say, if you're feeling blue, find something to do for someone who's feeling bluer than you. And it's, it's good advice. Now clearly supporting a charity is a really good way of putting that into practice and that's what we're doing this year. The charity that we're focusing on this year is the Lions at Large campaign on behalf of Cheltenham and Gloucester hospitals. They're raising money to fund a new oncology, a new cancer centre for local patients. And loads of our students have already got involved. Uh, there's fun runs being organised, there's charity concerts being organised, there's bake sales taking place. One of the students has even offered to cut her hair off and sell it for charity. So please encourage your children to get involved in these things, to, to put up with a little bit of challenge themselves to benefit others and, of course, in the process to benefit themselves. And if you'd like to contribute, you don't need to do mad things like cut your hair off, but if you'd like to contribute, then please go onto our website, look at the latest news section, scroll down a little bit and you'll find there's a Just Giving link there where you can help too. And as they say, every little helps. Thanks very much. I hope the rest of the term goes well for you all.